This short video will show you the recently announced Parallels Access 7.0 connecting to a variety of remote computers. In this video, the Parallels Access 7.0 app is on a large iPad Pro running iPad OS 15. Also in this video, I will connect from the iPad Pro to a M1 MacBook Pro running Mac OS Monterey, to an Intel MacBook Pro running Mac OS Big Sur, and to a Lenovo ThinkPad running Windows 7. When I launch Parallels Access, you will see the array of computers that I can connect to. Most of these are ready for a remote connection, but two of my computers are not running right now, so I cannot connect to them. I will tap on the Monterey M1 MacBook Pro, to initiate a connection. Here you see the apps on this M1 MacBook Pro that I often run remotely. Because I have Parallels Desktop on this MacBook Pro, you can see a mixture of Mac apps and Windows apps here. Now I will tap on Microsoft Word, and open a Word document. Parallels Access provides features, that no other remote connection app has. For example, I can tap, hold, and drag, to move this graphic to another place in this Word document. By default, Parallels Access uses the full screen of the iPad for the document you are working on. But you can change this to see the desktop of the remote computer. Now you see the desktop of this Mac OS Monterey M1 MacBook Pro. Let's close the connection to this M1 MacBook Pro, and open a connection to another remote computer. Let's launch preview on this remote computer, in order to open an image of some Chinese text. Again, let's change the parallels access setting to see the desktop of this remote computer. Now you see the desktop of this Mac OS Big Sur Intel MacBook Pro. Let's close the connection to this Intel MacBook Pro, and open a connection to another remote computer. Let's open a connection to this Windows 7 ThinkPad, and launch Paint, a very popular Windows application. Let's reveal the Windows desktop. Let's close this connection to the remote Windows PC, and quit Parallels Access. I hope you have enjoyed seeing how easy it is to use Parallels Access, to connect to remote computers, ranging from the latest Apple computers, to really old Windows PCs. Thanks for watching.